Hey, fifth graders. I'm in the building. Can you believe they let me in here? What? Loose. I um, might have some special guests coming in. Oh, hi, Miss Bird. Hi, Miss Birdock. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, am about to drop lesson 16 on you guys. Keep in mind, I'm kind of um, taking I'm taking last year's video and I'm editing it in uh, with a brand new intro. Da -da 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 -da. Here's a brand new intro. You ready to hear about what we're doing in lesson 16? We're dividing. It's going to be great. And we're going to start like we do every new skill. We're going to start with modeling, model, 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 show it in pictures. And then we're going to drop the modeling and then we'll work into standard algorithm. But today what you need to think about is, ooh, we're modeling with division. This is going to be great. Okay, buckle up. Here we go. Just had lots of fun celebrating your learning today. I've been thinking about you. Um, I'm just going to do a very quick video for lesson 16. Um, we are getting into division and we will work on all this great stuff tomorrow. But let's just take a quick look at lesson 16. You're in fifth grade. If, I, if my calculations are correct, and we're still on module two. So we're getting into division now, and as you guys know, when we get into a new uh, skill, um, not that this is the first time you guys have done division, we start with doing lots of modeling. So a lot of you guys have figured out this pattern already. So in lesson 16, we're gonna be doing some modeling, and then as we progress through uh, the rest of module two, we are going to lean in closer to that um, standard algorithm. So let's just kind of enjoy this modeling and thinking about what does division actually mean. So we're going to use place value disks. Place value disks look like this. Circles. Fancy name for them is place value disk. So what we're going to be doing is we're just going to be sketching really quick place value charts. You can use the place value charts that are uh, printed in the classroom. I have a giant stack of them over by the whales. Um, but for now, I'm just going to make a really quick sketch and let's take a look at what we have here in um, number one. So this is 500 divided by 10. You guys know when we divide something by 10, we go this way on the place value chart. This number is going to get smaller because it's being divided into 10 equal parts. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to model 500 on the place value chart. And then we're going to think about what happens when we divide 500 by 10. What happens to that number? I think a lot of you are already thinking um, about what is going to take place. So here I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 500 on my place value chart. Again, this is a very quick sketch. Um, when I divide this 100 by 10, it's going to move over here. It's just going to shift one place value to the right. So it's not 100 anymore. It's a 10. This one, this 100, is going to shift one place value to right to the right. This 100 is going to shift one place value to the right. This 100 is going to shift one place value to the right. Thank you, Miles. This 100 is going to shift one place value to the right. So all of these 100s, I'm going to cross them out because they're not 100s anymore. They're 10s. We shifted five hundreds over one place value to the right because we divided it by 10. And now what do we have? One, two, three, four, five tens, which is equal to 50. So 500 divided by 10 is equal to 50. I imagine a lot of you are thinking, I already knew that, Mrs. Calamaris. Yes, I know. But this visual is important, and <clears throat> modeling this is giving us a deeper understanding as to why 500 is divided by 10. Why 500 is divided by 10, right, Cole? Thank you. Okay, let's look at D really quickly. This, these numbers are getting much larger. I think I'm going to clear that so I can hopefully scoot in here. Bear with me. Um, let me see if I can zoom in here. Burp, burp, burp. Okay, extreme close-up. And let's grab my pen again. Anyone know any good jokes? Do, 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 do. Wait for it. What color should we do? Chloe? Aqua? Okay, this is for you, girl. Okay, so let's look at 450,000 divided by 100. 450,000 divided by 100. Let's do our quick, oh darn, 
Where'd my pen go? Oh, I can't close that. Okay, is that what you guys are trying to tell me? Mr. Kilmeyers, you can't close that if you still want your pen, but I can't close this. Okay, 450,000 divided by 100. <clears throat> Let's sketch out a very quick place value chart. Um, and then let's just label, we're going to have, put our decimal over here, we have our ones, and this is a place value chart that lives in all of your hearts, we have tens, we have hundreds, we have thousands, and then we have, oh, we have ten thousands, sorry these are going over guys, and then we have hundred thousands. Not pretty, but you get the idea, right? Okay, so let's put 450,000 on our place value chart. How many hundred thousands are in 450,000? Anyone? Anyone? Thank you, Anna. There are four. One, two, three, four hundred thousands. How many ten thousands are in 450,000? Thank you, Manu. There are five ten thousands in 450,000. Thank you. The UPS delivery coming in right now. Um, and now we're going to be dividing. So this is 450,000 on our place value chart. I'm not even going to put anything here because empty space is zero. We don't, we don't need to go over that. <clears throat> now we're dividing 450,000 by 100. So that means that each of these digits are going to shift to the right Division means to the right means getting smaller, dividing into smaller pieces. To the right now, one, two place values because there's two zeros in 100. So that means that this 10,000 is going to shift over one, two place values to the right. This 10,000 is going to shift over one, two place values to the right. Does anyone see a pattern here? That's my place value. That's my dividing music, actually. So we've moved one, two, three, four, five, ten thousands over, shifted them to the right two place values, or divided them by 100, so they're no longer ten thousands. And now we're going to divide one, two, three, four hundred thousands by 100 by shifting these to the right. Um, follow me here, kids. Okay, one, two to the right, dink. One, two place values to the right, dink. I guess this would probably be a little bit more clear if I changed colors, but we're just gonna make this work. Okay, so now we've moved our 400,000s two places to the right. We've divided those by 100, so now they're in thousands land, and now let's see what we have. How many thousands do we have now? One, two, three, four. Beautiful. And then how many hundreds do we have? One, two, three, four, five. Awesome. And so as it turns out, 450,000 divided by 100 is 4,500. Interesting. Are you into it? That's pretty cool. I, I like this. I'm having fun. Who else is having fun? Okay, kiddos, we are going to look at one more um, way to think about division. We're kind of leaning closer to our standard algorithm. This is an algorithm, this isn't the algorithm. Just want to think about another way um, to think about dividing um, these larger numbers by powers of 10. So what we're actually going to be doing is decomposing, which actually reminds me, our secret word is corn on the cob. Okay, so let's, we're still in our problems that we'll work on the homework tomorrow. Um, let's look at this, this one here in lesson 16. This is 560,000 divided by 70. So we're actually going to rewrite this as 500, oh, my handwriting is a little wobbly, 560,000 divided by 10 divided by 7. Do you see how we decompose 70 into 10 divided by 7? I'm sorry, into 10 and 7. So first of all, let's think about 560,000 divided by 10. 560,000 divided by 10 is going to look like 560,000 with one less zero. 
which actually is 56,000. When we divide 560,000 divided by 10, when we divide 560,000 by 10, all of these digits are just going to shift to the, oh, I'm getting an email from Tiffany. Excellent Christmas ideas. Um, we're just going to shift 560,000 over one place value to the right, which is going to drop off one tenth. Okay. So now all we have to do is do 560,000 divided by 7. Really, that's so, so simple. We have to do 56 divided by 7, which is 8. And then we're just going to slap on those three zeros because all this really says is 56,000 divided into seven equal groups. We make that more simple by thinking about 56 divided by 7 and then bringing those zeros along. Okay, so D, E, and F look very similar, but what we're dividing by is growing. So these powers of 10 um, are increasing as we go through. So let's rewrite E, 560,000. We're going to decompose 700 into 100 and 7. So now let's think about 560,000 divided by 100. 560,000 divided by 100 is going to result in two zeros getting omitted because we're going to shift 560,000 over to the right, to the right, to the right, two place values because 100 has two zeros in it. So we're going, our result is going to be, why did I put my comma there? Sorry about that, Kylie. I'm sure Kylie noticed that first. She is always, always so aware. Uh, 560,000 divided by 100 is 5,600. Now all we have to do, you clever, clever kids, is divide 5,600 uh, 5, into seven equal groups. First, think about 56 divided by 7. Alex knows that is 8. And then we're just going to bring along two zeros. Okay, so I think you guys are probably getting the hang of this, and I think, I don't know, Gabby, are you having fun? Gabby's always having fun at math. I appreciate that. That's what we have in common. I'm having a blast. Let's look at this final one. Oh, Georgie's awake. 560,000 divided by 7, I'm sorry, well, divided by 7,000. We're going to decompose 7,000. Hmm, who can think about how we're going to decompose 7,000? Let's decompose 7,000, thank you, Christopher, um, as 1,000 and 7. When we divide 560,000 by 1,000, 560,000 is going to shift 1, 2, 3 place values to the right, which means we're going to lose three zeros. 560,000 divided by 1,000 is 560. Now we just have to think about 560 divided by 7. We can make this a little bit easier when we're doing this mentally and think about 56 divided by 7, which is 8, and then bring down that 0. Okay, guys, can't wait to see you tomorrow. I am so excited to see those celebrations of learning.